in Chinese philosophy, yin and yang, and Chinese yin yang yin yang, lit. Dark bright. Negative positive is a concept of dualism in ancient Chinese philosophy, describing how seemingly opposite or contrary forces may actually be complementary, interconnected, and interdependent in the natural world, and how they may give rise to each other as they interrelate to one another. In Chinese cosmology, the universe creates itself out of a primary chaos of material energy, organized into the cycles of yin and yang and formed into objects and lives. Yin is the receptive and yang the active principle, seen in all forms of change and difference such as the annual cycle winter and summer, the landscape north-facing shade and south-facing brightness, sexual coupling female and male, the formation of both men and women as characters, and sociopolitical history disorder and order. .There are various dynamics in Chinese cosmology. In the cosmology pertaining to yin and yang, the material energy, which this universe has created itself out of, is also referred to as qi. It is believed that the organization of qi in this cosmology of yin and yang has formed many things. Included among these forms are humans. Many natural dualities such as light and dark, fire and water, expanding and contracting are thought of as physical manifestations of the duality symbolized by yin and yang. This duality lies at the origins of many branches of classical Chinese science and philosophy, as well as being a primary guideline of traditional Chinese medicine, and a central principle of different forms of Chinese martial arts and exercise, such as Baguazhang, Taijikan, tai chi, and Qigong, qi kung, as well as appearing in the pages of the I Ching. The notion of a duality can be found in many areas, such as communities of practice. The term, dualistic monism, or dialectical monism has been coined in an attempt to express this fruitful paradox of simultaneous unity and duality. Yin and yang can be thought of as complementary rather than opposing forces that interact to form a dynamic system in which the whole is greater than the assembled parts. According to this philosophy, everything has both yin and yang aspects for instance, shadow cannot exist without light. Either of the two major aspects may manifest more strongly in a particular object, depending on the criterion of the observation. The yin-yang symbol shows a balance between two opposites with a portion of the opposite element in each section. In Taoist metaphysics, distinctions between good and bad, along with other dichotomous moral judgments, are perceptual, not real, so, the duality of yin and yang is an indivisible whole. In the ethics of Confucianism on the other hand, most notably in the philosophy of Dong Zhongshu c. 2nd century BC, a moral dimension is attached to the idea of yin and yang. Linguistic aspects These Chinese terms yin-yin or yin shady side, and yang-yang or yang sunny side are linguistically analyzable in terms of Chinese characters, pronunciations and etymology, meanings, topography, and loanwords. Characters The traditional Chinese characters yin and yang for the words yin and yang are both classified as radical phonetic characters, combining the semantically significant mound, hill, Radical fu or fu with the phonetic indicators yin yin and yang yang. The first phonetic yin yin, cloudy, ideographically combines jin jin, now, present, and yun yun, cloud, denoting the jin presence of yun clouds. The second phonetic yang yang, bright, originally pictured re the sun, with wu, rays coming down. This phonetic is expanded with the sun, radical into yang yang. Rising sun, sunshine. The mound, hill, radical fu full forms semantically specify yin yin, shady, dark side of a hill, and yang yang, sunny, light side of a hill. The simplified Chinese characters yin and yang for yin and yang combine the same hill, radical fu with the non phonetic ua ua, moon, and ri ri, sun, graphically denoting shady side of a hill, and Sunny side of a hill. Compare the classical Chinese names, which contain Tai Tai, great, for these two heavenly bodies, Tai I and Tai Yin, moon, and Tai Yang Tai Yang, sun.
Topic pronunciations and etymologies The modern standard Chinese pronunciation of yin or yin is usually level first tone yin shady, cloudy, or sometimes falling fourth tone yin to shelter, shade, and yang or yang sunny is always pronounced with rising second tone yang. Sinologists and historical linguists have reconstructed Middle Chinese pronunciations from data in the 7th century CE Qian Rhyme Dictionary and later Rhyme Tables, which was subsequently used to reconstruct Old Chinese phonology from rhymes in the 11th-7th centuries BCE Xijing and phonological components of Chinese characters. Reconstructions of Old Chinese have illuminated the etymology of modern Chinese words. Compare these Middle Chinese and Old Chinese with asterisk reconstructions of yin yin and yang yang, im asterisk jum and asterisk ra, li fang kui, r, yum and asterisk l jang, William H. Baxter, jum, im yin, overcast, cloudy, ardi muk yum, shade, and lepcha so yum, shade, and is probably cognate with Chinese and dim, gloomy, and keen blanket. Yang, reflecting light, Burmese lab, be bright, and lab, light, and is perhaps cognate with Chinese Chang, prosperous, bright. Compare aerial words like Tai Pla One, bright, and Proto Viet Muong lab. To this word family, Unga Hao Ku, 1986 to 34, also includes Bing Bing, bright. However, Skuesla reconstructs Bing s old Chinese pronunciation as asterisk Bra and includes it in an Austroasiatic word family. Besides Liang Liang, twilight of dawn, Ming bright, become light, enlighten, owing to the different OC initial consonant, which seems to have no recognizable OC morphological function. Topic. Meanings Yin and Yang are semantically complex words. John de Francis's Chinese English Dictionary gives the following translation equivalence: Yin Yin or Yin Noun 1, philosophy, negative, passive, female principle in nature 2, surname bound morpheme 1, the moon 2, shaded orientation 3, covert, concealed, hidden 4, 7, negative 8, north side of a hill 9, south bank of a river 10, reverse side of a stell 11 inches, intaglio stative verb 1, overcast. Yang Yang or Yang bound morpheme 1, Chinese philosophy, positive, active, male principle in nature 2, the sun 4, in relief 5, open, overt 6, belonging to this world 7, linguistics, masculine 8, south side of a hill 9, north bank of a river. The compound yin yang yin yang or yin yang means, yin and yang, opposites, ancient Chinese astronomy, occult arts, astrologer, geomancer, etc. The sinologist Rolf Stein etymologically translates Chinese yin yin, shady side of a mountain, and yang yang, sunny side of a mountain, with the uncommon English geographic terms ubac, shady side of a mountain, and ardre, sunny side of a mountain, which are of French origin. Topic: <laughs> Toponymy. Many Chinese place names or toponyms contain the word yang, sunny side, and a few contain yin, shady side. In China, as elsewhere in the northern hemisphere, sunlight comes predominantly from the south, and thus the south face of a mountain or the north bank of a river will receive more direct sunlight than the opposite side. Yang refers to the south side of a hill in Hengyang Hengyang, which is south of Mount Henghengshan in Hunan Province, and to the north bank of a river. In Luoyang Luoyang, which is located north of the Luo River Luo He in Henan. Similarly, Yin refers to north side of a hill in Wyan Hua Yin, which is north of Mount Hua Hua Shan in Shaanxi Province. In Japan, the characters are used in western Honshu to delineate the north side Sanan region Shan Yin from the south side Sanyo region Shan Yang, separated by the Chuguko Mountains Zhongguo Shanda. Loan words English yin, yang, and yin yang are familiar loanwords of Chinese origin. The Oxford English Dictionary defines yin Jane, also yin, yn. Chinese yin shade, feminine, the moon a. In Chinese philosophy, the feminine or negative principle characterized by dark, wetness, cold, passivity, disintegration, etc. are the two opposing cosmic forces into which creative energy divides and whose fusion in physical matter brings the phenomenal world into being. Also a trib, or as adjective, and transfu. Cf. Yang b. 
comb, as yin yang, the combination or fusion of the two cosmic forces, freak, a trib, especially as yin yang symbol, a circle divided by an S shaped line into a dark and a light segment, representing respectively yin and yang, each containing a seed of the other. Yang, J, also yang. Chinese yang yang, sun, positive, male genitals. A. In Chinese philosophy, the masculine or positive principle characterized by light, warmth, dryness, activity, etc. of the two opposing cosmic forces into which creative energy divides and whose fusion in physical matter brings the phenomenal world into being. Also a trib, or as adjective. Cf. Yin B. Com. Yang yin equals yin yang s, v, yin b. For the earliest recorded yin and yang. Usages, the OED cites 1671 for yin and yang, 1850 for yin-yang, and 1959 for yang-yin. In English, yang-yin like yin-yang occasionally occurs as a mistake or typographical error for the Chinese loanword yin-yang. Yet they are not equivalents. Chinese does have some yangian collocations, such as yang-yin lit. Foreign silver. Silver coin, dollar. But not even the most comprehensive dictionaries, e.g., the Hanyu Da Sidian enter Yangyan asterisk Yang Yin. While Yang and Yin can occur together in context, Yangyan is not synonymous with Yin Yang. The linguistic term irreversible binomial refers to a collocation of two words A B that cannot be idiomatically reversed as B A. For example, English cat and mouse, not asterisk mouse and cat, and friend or foe, not asterisk foe or friend. Similarly, the usual pattern among Chinese binomial compounds is for positive A and negative B, where the A word is dominant or privileged over B. For example, Tiandi Chanda, heaven and earth, and Nanu Nanyu, men and women. Yin Yang meaning dark and light, female and male, moon and sun. However, is an exception. Scholars have proposed various explanations for why yin yang violates this pattern, including linguistic convenience. It is easier to say yin yang than yang gain. The idea that proto Chinese society was matriarchal, or perhaps since yin yang first became prominent during the late Warring States period, this term was purposely directed at challenging persistent cultural assumptions. Topic: History. Needham discusses yin and yang together with five elements as part of the school of naturalists. He says that it would be proper to begin with yin and yang before five elements because the former lay, as it were, at a deeper level in nature and were the most ultimate principles of which the ancient Chinese could conceive. But it so happens that we know a good deal more about the historical origin of the five element theory than about that of the yin and the yang, and it will therefore be more convenient to deal with it first. He then discusses Zhou Yan, Zhou Yan 305-240-B-C, who is most associated with these theories. Although yin and yang are not mentioned in any of the surviving documents of Zhou Yan, his school was known as the Yin Yang Jia yin and yang school. Needham concludes there can be very little doubt that the philosophical use of the terms began about the beginning of the 4th century, and that the passages in older texts which mention this use are interpolations made later than that time. Topic. Chinese gender roles In spite of being used in a modern context to justify egalitarianism under the notion of both yin and yang being necessary, in practice the concept of yin and yang has led to justification for China's patriarchal history. Particularly under Confucianism, yang as the sun principle is considered superior to yin, the dark principle, hence men are afforded rulership positions whereas women are not unless, under some remarkable circumstances, they possess sufficient yang. Topic. Nature In Taoist philosophy, dark and light, yin and yang, arrive in the Tao Te Ching at chapter 42. It becomes sensible from an initial quiescence or emptiness wu ji, sometimes symbolized by an empty circle, and continues moving until quiescence is reached again. For instance, dropping a stone in a calm pool of water will simultaneously raise waves and lower troughs between them, and this alternation of high and low points in the water will radiate outward until the movement dissipates and the pool is calm once more. Yin and yang thus are always opposite and equal qualities. 
Further, whenever one quality reaches its peak, it will naturally begin to transform into the opposite quality, for example, grain that reaches its full height in summer fully yang will produce seeds and die back in winter fully yin in an endless cycle. It is impossible to talk about yin or yang without some reference to the opposite, since yin and yang are bound together as parts of a mutual whole for example, there cannot be the bottom of the foot without the top. A way to illustrate this idea is to postulate the notion of a race with only men or only women, this race would disappear in a single generation. Yet, men and women together create new generations that allow the race they mutually create and mutually come from to survive. The interaction of the two gives birth to things, like manhood. Yin and yang transform each other, like an undertow in the ocean, every advance is complemented by a retreat, and every rise transforms into a fall. Thus, a seed will sprout from the earth and grow upwards towards the sky—an intrinsically yang movement. Then, when it reaches its full potential height, it will fall. Also, the growth of the top seeks light, while roots grow in darkness. Certain catchphrases have been used to express yin and yang complementarity. The bigger the front, the bigger the back. Illness is the doorway to health. Tragedy turns to comedy. Disasters turn out to be blessings. Topic: Symbolism and importance. Yin is the black side with the white dot in it, and yang is the white side with the black dot in it. The relationship between yin and yang is often described in terms of sunlight playing over a mountain and a valley. Yin, literally the shady place or north slope, is the dark area occluded by the mountain's bulk, while yang, literally the sunny place or south slope, is the brightly lit portion. As the sun moves across the sky, yin and yang gradually trade places with each other, revealing what was obscured and obscuring what was revealed. Yin is characterized as slow, soft, yielding, diffuse, cold, wet, and passive, and is associated with water, earth, the moon, femininity, and night time. Yang, by contrast, is fast, hard, solid, focused, hot, dry, and active, and is associated with fire, sky, the sun, masculinity and daytime. Yin and yang also applies to the human body. In traditional Chinese medicine good health is directly related to the balance between yin and yang qualities within oneself. If yin and yang become unbalanced, one of the qualities is considered deficient or has vacuity. I Ching In the I Ching, originally a divination manual of the Western Zhou period c. 1000 to 750 BC, yin and yang are represented by broken and solid lines, yin is broken, and yang is solid. These are then combined into trigrams, which are more yang e or more yin e depending on the number of broken and solid lines e is heavily yang, while is heavily yin, and trigrams are combined into hexagrams e and The relative positions and numbers of yin and yang lines within the trigrams determines the meaning of a trigram, and in hexagrams the upper trigram is considered yang with respect to the lower trigram, yin, which allows for complex depictions of interrelations. Taijitu The principle of yin and yang is represented by the Taijitu literally, diagram of the supreme ultimate. The term is commonly used to mean the simple, divided circle form, but may refer to any of several schematic diagrams representing these principles, such as the swastika, common to Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Similar symbols have also appeared in other cultures, such as in Celtic art and Roman shield markings. Taijikan Chinese, Taijiquan a form of martial art, is often described as the principles of yin and yang applied to the human body and an animal body. Wu Jianqin, a famous Chinese martial arts teacher, described Taijikan as follows. Various people have offered different explanations for the name Taijikan. Some have said, in terms of self-cultivation, one must train from a state of movement towards a state of stillness. Taiji comes about through the balance of yin and yang. 
In terms of the art of attack and defense then, in the context of the changes of full and empty, one is constantly internally latent, to not outwardly expressive, as if the yin and yang of taiji have not yet divided apart. Others say, every movement of taijikan is based on circles, just like the shape of a taijitu. Therefore, it is called taijikan. <laughs> See also